Hey guys, Joe Hildreth here from MyHeap.com and uh, in this video we're going to do another um, uh, continue on with the uh, uh, Kenneth Wells uh, stationary engine build and if you watched the last episode you know that I completed the um, the uh, crank assembly and the bushing that's all pretty good and you, you'll notice that it has a nice strip of paint there and that the uh, crank pin is installed so and it just come in from the back let's see if I can get it in focus just come in the back and just drove it down with a punch and it is in there as solid as, as can be so now obviously this is still too long it'll have to be trimmed back and I'm sure that the uh, crank pin is too long but at least that part of it is ready to go and it, it's pretty smooth so all right so in this um, in this video though we're going to work on the cylinder and the cylinder is pretty straightforward um, it's made with um, it's made uh, with half inch by eighth inch thick brass which I, I have some here uh, it takes a piece uh, 32 millimeters long and I've already cut a piece out okay um, that's half inch diameter uh, brass rod Okay, which I have a piece here, but again, I've already cut a piece out, so that's that. Then I have to be drilled and reamed, um, drilled and reamed three eighths. Okay, and then finally, um, there's a, a little cap we see here, made out of three eighths diameter brass, and I have some right here, and we'll just slice that off in the lathe when we get to it. So I have all the uh, stuff here. Let's, um, like I said, this looks uh, pretty. Pretty straightforward to make. Um, we'll start with the cylinder and it will need to be center drilled, drilled through the letter U and then reamed 3 8 So let me get set up with the lathe and we'll start in on that. Okay, so I have this uh, piece of half inch brass bar uh, mounted in the chuck and it's been cut to 45 uh, millimeters long. Okay, so the drawing says that it uh, needs to center drill drill through for letter U and ream 3 8 diameter all the way through. So that's what we're going to do now. So I got the center drill in there. Again it's number three. Now there's a bit of a a uh, drill mark there but I'm going to go ahead and put a nice little center here so that it catches it just like that. And uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but I have a rag sitting here to catch these brass chips. And the reason why I'm catching the brass chips is I uh, want to save up some to make a bluing tray. And so you, you clock makers and, you know, well, you guys know what I'm talking about here. Okay, so I want to step, step drill this. This I'm going to go from a quarter inch to five sixteenths to the letter U and then ream. So let's, uh, let's just work our way through this real quick. Okay, we're going with 5 sixteenths of an inch. Okay, and this is letter U. This is uh, the size I'll drill to, to ream. Okay, I'm going to slow the lathe down a little bit and feed this in. I'm just going to guide it in by, uh, by sliding the tailstock. Okay, that's all there is to do for this part here. If we take a close look, hopefully let me see if I can get some light on this. Okay, take a close look. Got a nice 
reamed inside finish. All right, so we're done with this bit. All right, so let's uh, let's get the next uh, part over here and continue on. Okay, so I have some 3 8 um, round brass bar in the chuck. Okay, it's been faced off. But so what I need to do is uh, I need to cut just a slight chamfer on there and then part off a piece that's uh, two millimeters wide. And this is actually going to just go into the end, form the top of the cylinder, cylinder end, and uh, be soldered in there. So uh, let's do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a light chamfer on the corner. And this should just facilitate it going into, tell you what, let me zoom you in. Okay. Okay, I got just a very light chamfer on there. Like I said, that will help facilitate it going into the uh, cylinder head. I mean, to the cylinder. And then uh, we only need to uh, part a part off a two millimeter piece of this. Right, that looks pretty close to two millimeters to me. And I don't think this has to be, you know, perfect. Alright, let's part this off and see what happens. Alright, hopefully I don't get my hand in the way here too bad, but I want to try to catch this little disc. And it pops off here. Alright. Should be a little warm, but... There we go. Now this will form our cylinder cap. Okay, so I think uh, what's left is uh, bench work. So let me get you set up over at the bench and let's start the next bit. Okay, so I think at this point what we have is uh, there's no more lathe work to do, but there is some bench work to do. So this is the cylinder. Um, again, this is half inch. It's been drilled and reamed three eighths. Um, We'll see that there's a flat here, uh, six millimeters or about a quarter inch that is put along the entire length of the cylinder. We see that off over here too in the uh, three-dimensional drawing. The cylinder head or end, end cap, let's see what do they call it, they call it the cylinder end. Alright, so that's got a very slight little chamfer there um, to get it started in and uh, it will go in there and then this is going to get soldered. So I'm just going to kind of cheat since I've got that little part off nub there that i got something to hang on to. You see that that will go in like that. Okay. And that'll get soldered into place. And then, you know, we have a flat here. And then this little piece here, the cylinder uh, plate, will get uh, the corners knocked off at 45 degrees, right? Until it looks about right. I don't think it's critical. It's going to get a hole drilled and threaded into it. And uh, then this whole this whole assembly is going to get uh, soldered together, right, to make the to make the cylinder head. And then this will go on the on the plate on the top of the. There's a plate that will go here at the top of the cylinder, and then you know this is going to rotate it on on it like this once uh, we get to that part. All right, so I will. Um, point the camera and give a general idea of what I'm going to do uh, to to the handwork, the filing that I'm going to do on this, but I'm not going to bore you to death because look, all, all I'm going to do is just file that, right, until it's flat and then I'm probably going to put a piece of uh, sandpaper on my uh, surface plate so I kind of get it nice and flat and then I'll, I'll file this to where it looks you know, how it needs to be and of course, the head, there's really nothing to do. I'll take this little nub here, this little parting nub off when uh, I'm done soldering the head up. So the only other thing that I've done is I've taken a couple of pieces of, of aluminum uh, angle. This is a three-quarter inch angle. Notice I've got soft jaws written on there. 
uh, to put in my vise to grip this stuff without marking it up because I have hard jaws in my vise and uh, it will sure enough uh, dent the uh, brass all up. So let me, uh, let me get things set up and I'll bring you right in. Okay, so I have the uh, cylinder in the vise um, lengthwise here. I'm just going to take the saw, I mean the uh, file, and I'm just going to draw file this back and forth until I get a flat uh, six millimeters wide. So that's really all I'm going to do with that. So there's probably nothing more here to see of this. And I'll bring you back in when I'm done. So I don't know if the camera picks that up, but I'm already probably about an eighth inch. So this is not going to take very long. Okay, so I just took the cylinder out of the vise and hopefully that'll focus. So you see I have a flat filed on there. I did touch it uh, on a piece of sandpaper on my surface plate. Um, okay, I've got uh, the rule here and so well, let's get up here. So maybe you uh, can see it's six millimeters wide. By the way, I want to thank uh, Patrick again for the uh, I want to thank uh, Patrick again for the scales. They they have come so they've been so handy. Patrick, thanks again, buddy. What a what a wonderful donation to the shop. I appreciate it. Okay, so um, the next bit to probably take care of is this little right here, little guy right here, and let's get it in the vise, and I'll show you how I'm going to file that up. Okay, so the next plate, uh, next piece to do is the cylinder plate, and really. Uh, we're going to mark a, uh, a cross in the center here. We're going to mark the center lines. We're going to drill a hole, number 38, and tap that 540. And then the only other thing is that the corners get knocked off at what looks about like a 45 degree angle. This is just for looks. And it looks like it probably goes half the depth of the plate of this eighth inch uh, uh, piece of stock. So I have the plate marked, or have the plate here in the. Uh, vise and I've got it tilted at about a 45 degree angle give or take and I'm going to take a file and work the corners down but you've already see here that I've marked the center lines right here and here and I've punched that so that could be drilled and tapped I'll do that off camera I'll follow this here a little bit so you can see what I'm doing and then I'm just going to finish the rest off camera and then uh, I'll bring you in when I'm done filing and drilling and tapping here so but basically I'm just going to take this this uh, file here and I'm just going to work this down until you know I get what looks pleasing and about even all the way across to me and I'll just check it frequently like this here I'm starting to take the corner off now and like I said I'm just going to work that about halfway down the thickness of uh, of this bar and this bar is eighth inch thick so I'm going to finish that and then uh, I'll bring you back in Okay, so here we have uh, all the pieces to the cylinder um, assembly um, completed. So the, uh, the cylinder has been uh, drilled and bored and uh, a flat area here uh, set up so that it can be soldered. And here's the cylinder cap, has a chamfer, uh, chamfer around the edge um, and to hold a little solder when it gets soldered in. And then, of course, the cylinder plate. And this has been drilled and tapped 540. This will hold a stud um, that will hold the um, cylinder head to the uh, engine casting, engine frame itself. So uh, the next thing to do is to solder this stuff up. So I need to tin this area here and I need to tin this. And then this, this piece here will get attached, soldered to the cylinder frame just like that and uh, centered up a little neat, neater than that, obviously. And then, of course, the cylinder cap will go in the end. Of course, that would be flush, and then that would get soldered in, and that would be the cylinder assembly. So um, let me get some fire brick out and uh, some materials, and let's get this soldered up. So I'll catch you when i got the stuff together. Okay, so to prepare these to solder together, I'm going to tin the um, cylinder plate and I will tin, pre-tin the cylinder and then I will place these together 
and wire them right so that uh, they can't move and then we'll solder them together so let me show you how I'm going to do this I got some uh, I got some forney tinning fluid here and uh, all I want to do is just brush that onto the brass and uh, heat this up Hopefully this is uh, all in frame. Okay, it's just now starting to get hot enough to melt, so I got a bead there. Okay, that's tinned. That piece is nice and tinned, and uh, I'm going to do the same thing off camera to the cylinder, and then I'll get it wired together and I'll bring you back in. Hopefully, this shows up and focuses. So, you see, I have the cylinder plate wired to the cylinder. Now, they've been, um, they've been tinned, and I've put some flux on there. So, I'm just going to put it on. I just got a little piece of uh, aluminum rod here uh, turned down to 3 8 now I'm just going to heat this up I'll make one last check to make sure that everything is still nice and centered it is okay I'm just going to heat that up and it should get hot enough to fuse um, here where it's tinned and then in addition to that I'm going to run a little solder in there turn it around and do the same thing. Oh, there's already a bead over here too. Alright, so I think that's all of that. So, I'll let that cool and I'll clean that up a little bit and I'll bring you back in. Okay, I did clean this up a little bit, obviously because it's shiny, you know, all the tarnish is off of it, but I cleaned it up to see how my, uh, hopefully you can see that. Oh, I have a little bead running across there and and across there. It's better on this side, but you know, I'm still I'm still really a beginner. So now I need to get the cylinder end soldered in. I, I have cleaned this end up. So let me uh I'm just base I'm just gonna take the cil the cylinder end. Remember it's trimmed to uh, two millimeters thick, has a chamfer, and we're gonna put this in here and then I'll put the chamfer to the outside and once I get that in there, I'll get it set up over here in the vise and we'll solder the uh, top end. And then that'll be all the soldering. And I think the only thing left then is the uh, steam port. So let me get set up and I'll bring you back in. Okay, so the cylinder cap, uh, the cylinder end, is uh, pushed into the bore and it's uh, flush with the top. Got a little bit of um, flux on there. So let's, uh, let's get some gas on there and get it soldered on. Alright, 
So that's soldered in. I'll let that cool and I'll clean that back up and I'll bring you back in. We'll look at the prints. I think we only have to put a, a steam hole in. So um, I'll bring you back in just a minute. Okay, so the cylinder is um, all soldered up. I've uh, cleaned it up a little bit. We'll, we'll require some more cleaning before uh, I'm all done, but um, it could have been better. Uh, the, the moral of the story here is uh, you want the absolute least amount of solder as possible. You just want it stuck together, and that doesn't take hardly anything. It's all stuck. It's airtight. Uh, so really, the cylinder is completely done now, except that we're going to need a steam hole. If we look here, uh, from the top, we'll measure down um, three millimeters and on the center line, and we're going to drill that uh, one and a half millimeters. I'm going to drill it with a number 53. Uh, so you see me mark stuff um, and that sort of stuff. So I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and mark this and drill it, and then um, I'll come back in, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so the steam inlet um, hole has been drilled uh, via the plan. I drilled that with number 53. Uh, polished this face up. This face is the one that will oscillate. Uh, so it's been polished up a little bit and you know I've cleaned it up some. Now when I drilled this, I drilled this hole completely through and that's mostly so maybe I can mark the extents of the plate, um, which we'll see here in just a minute. So to this point, um, let me get some junk out of the way. So uh, to this point, I have, hopefully this will fit in here. I have the firebox done, the, the ends, the base, the burner, uh, the boiler, right? Uh, the strap that holds everything in. That's done. I still need to make a pressure relief valve. The crank is done uh, very smooth there's still a little fettling left to do on this casting I still have oil hole uh, to do and then of course the cylinder now there will be a plate if you use your imagination there will be a plate sticking up here that the cylinder will oscillate on and uh, I may have to adjust this in, uh, in or out just a little bit depending on the thickness of uh, the flywheel here uh, so let's see uh, what's next so the next drawing is uh, engine components three, and it has the plate, um, has the pivot plate. Uh, this will fasten to the top of the frame. Uh, has the has the rod that will attach to um, attach to the uh, cylinder, right? And this will pull this rod with the spring and this neural knob will pull this up against the cylinder plate. So that's that's the next part. Uh, but for this uh, for this uh, episode here, I think we're going to stop here. This is about the uh, cylinder. It's done. Um, like everything else in this engine, I do have some cleanup and painting and stuff to do and I won't bother you with that. So uh, until next time, hey, if these uh, uh, if these videos interest you or, or uh, you know, you find them entertaining, uh, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing. And if you subscribe, uh, hit the bell and you'll be notified when I release my next video. So other than that, have a blessed day.